Bia. Suicide Bomber is a competitive board game about luck and choice. It takes 2 players and 8 to 15 minutes to play. Setup. Take components out from your pockets. Place the 12 cards in 3-4 area, with 2 player tokens at the diagonal corners, and put 3 occupied tokens and a special dice aside. This dice is designed for map exploration and player combats. Theme and Go. Now imagine you are a lost loyal soldier devoting yourself to your kingdom. Your goal is to find the suicide cannon and shoot yourself to occupy the opponent's bases. However, you don't even know where your bases are. Gameplay. Players take turns to choose where to move, and may fight with the opponent, reveal an event card, or deal with events. Use any methods you like to decide who starts first. First, roll to move. Pick 0 to your roll point and move either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. Oh wait, don't forget your opponent. Whenever you meet your opponent, fight immediately. The turn owner, as attacker, rolls the dice. If the roll point is orange, the attacker wins. If it's yellow, the defender wins. The winner can throw the loser away. Just see the point and do the same as when you roll to move yourself. The attacker has a little bit of an advantage as he owns the only one orange 3. Third, if you get rid of your opponent, you can interact with cards. If you land on a revealed card, you must deal with the event. One time each turn, if you land on a covered card, you can choose to reveal this event and deal with it. Hopefully, it's not a river. Events The core events that are closely related to goals are bases, suicide cannon, and cannon stealer. Bases They are your home or targets. To occupy the opponent's bases, you need to shoot yourself with suicide cannon. To defend the opponent, stand on your bases. It's a defense method that requires no luck. Suicide cannon It's time to sacrifice yourself. Rotate the card to either a horizontal, vertical, or diagonal direction you want to shoot. Once the player loads himself, do the same as battles. The only difference is that the direction is fixed, with the attacker sends himself to the arrow direction or the defender sends the attacker to the reverse. Cannon Stealer As the suicide cannon may not on the track to your opponent's bases, it helps you to swap the suicide cannon to a proper position and become the event that players compete for. You can do many useful things with this event. Keep in mind that there are many other events that may help you, chip you, or test your luck. See more details and suggestions in the rulebook. Just explore, make choice, punch on the opponent's faces, and shoot yourself.